Hey my friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. On this episode of Under the Hood, we've got the 2016 and now 2017 Ford Explorer Platinum. It has the same 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost that you're gonna find in the Explorer Sport. So let's check it out. The Ford Explorer Sport and the Platinum both offer standard the now venerable 3.5 liter twin turbocharged EcoBoost V6 along with a police interceptor version of the Explorer where the engine is an option. In the Explorer, the engine is tuned to 365 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. It comes standard with a heavy-duty 6-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive to put that power to the ground. You'll notice, however, the power and torque is somewhat lower than in other applications you can find this engine. In the F-150, the Expedition, and the Lincoln Navigator, this first-generation EcoBoost engine is tuned as high as 380 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. It's tuned down here because the transaxle can't handle the maximum output possible and still be reliable. The engine itself features an aluminum block with a 60 degree V angle, aluminum heads, and in this vehicle an aluminum intake manifold. Direct fuel injection and boost from its twin turbochargers combine to offer a nice fat torque curve and minimum turbo lag when it's pushed. Following the airflow here is a little bit tricky as there's a lot of plumbing both seen and unseen. From the air filter box up front, the stream is split in two, each turbocharger getting its own intake tube down below. From there, the boost pressure heads to an air-to-air -air intercooler up front and then back up top where it flows into a single-throat throttle body and into an aluminum intake manifold. The fuel system isn't much to see here as it's mostly buried under the valve covers. No traditional fuel rails here. You can see a large foam insulator on top for the fuel regulator, but that's about it. In spite of all the plumbing and tight fit, servicing this engine bay yourself isn't that challenging. The air filter and battery are located up front, easy to reach, along with that fuse block. The brake fluid reservoir is, well, right where you'd expect it, up on the driver's side firewall. Checking and filling the windshield washer fluid and coolant can easily be done on the passenger side. One thing of note here is a pretty beefy strut tower brace from the factory that spans from side to side to add strength and stiffness. Now, this engine rolls into the 2017 model year unchanged. When the second generation EcoBoost V6 with both port and direct fuel injection found in the 2017 F-150 pickups makes its way here is yet unknown. It'll likely be when the Explorer sees its next major redesign in a year or two. Well, there you have it for the Underhood Tour, the 2016 Ford Explorer with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. Even though these engines are really getting to be commonplace, it's still kind of fun to check them out because there's a lot going on. Now, we've got a full test drive on this vehicle, and you can see that by clicking on the link down below in the information section. Also, click the big red link here on your screen and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we do test drive one or two vehicles a week. Plus, we have a new video just like this almost every day. There's always something new. So stay tuned.